What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Terran SMP. Yes, I know I have been calling it a Terran craft for the last two episodes, but that's fine. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up on the video. It helps my algorithm out quite a bit. And if you do get a chance, go ahead in the description below and check out my merch that I have up. Anyways, getting started in this episode, we are going to start in the Villager Trading Hall. I have 18 of these librarians down here. It took me quite a while to get these guys all organized and put into place. I don't even know how many times I said that I did not like the villagers. And there's a reason for it. They don't listen. Uh, but... I have half the side set up with trades that I already need and half are trades that have not been set quite yet so I can do whatever I want. The book sales have been doing really good. I think I've only mined about 40 diamonds total and I have double if not triple that. But in this episode what we're going to do is get a tour of the village because I've spent quite a while offline building it up adding details, paths, lighting, a bunch of different stuff, crop fields, and I want to see what you guys think. So go ahead, hit that comment, let me know what you like and what you don't like. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going to begin this tour at the starter house. I did kind of abandon it as soon as I got my storage facility set up. Uh, but what I think we need to do in the next few episodes is concentrate on the interiors to all of these builds. Uh, if it's complete, then I won't feel so lost when I'm going through all these places. Half the time when I go in, it's just there's something missing in every single one of them, and I want to kind of fix them. The next building we are going into, I'm referring to as my office, uh, but what I want to do is eventually turn it into my store and have a bunch of barrels with books and pricing and things like that, just so when people do come to my uh, village they know that they can buy any books instead of just texting me on discord or hitting me up in the chat and saying hey I need this book which I'm fine with because it's been working to this point but I would rather you know if I am in the middle of a build just be like hey it's at the store go ahead grab your diamonds and then move on so to add a more realistic feel and bring the village to life a little bit I added this nice little fire pit area for everybody to sit around hang out and have a conversation with and then if you turn around and look directly behind it, you have my storage area. Uh, it's not too much. I have a bunch of chests in here that can hold absolutely anything and everything that I want to with three furnace in the middle. Uh, I've been using those quite a bit. I think I do need to set up an auto smelter at some point, but right now is not the time for that. And then as we move down the path, you'll notice I have detailed it with rooted dirt, coarse dirt, and pretty much every gray block that we have in the game besides gray wool. So this is our stables. I do have a llama. His name is Mr. Spittles. And then off to the left-hand side is my donkey. Go ahead and leave a name suggestion in the comments below, and I will pick the best one. All right, and then moving along on our path here, I'm going to bring us to two of the three buildings. I believe this one is the armors building, which once again, not a lot of detail on the interior here. So I really do think that I need to focus on interiors on one episode. So maybe we'll I'll walk you guys through on how I do that, and we'll detail these houses all together. Uh, there's not much to this one. It's just a single bedroom type for him to live. Uh, I do have villagers in every single one of these houses. And then if you look off behind this, I do have a house in the process of being made with nothing in it. But if we continue down the path, then we move over to our Fletcher's house. This is one of the first actual houses that I did build. And I did detail this one a little bit better. And as soon as we walk in, I got trapped or Well, that's one of the things on the server is everybody runs around and, and flips their friends trap doors and we've been calling it getting trap doored it's kind of a, a fun little game that we've been playing so one of the goals that i want to set for myself on this series and the smp is to make the village look as real and as alive as possible so i think what i want to focus on is building houses for individual villagers and putting their workstations in there so they continue to go back there uh, to the same place and it actually feels like a real live village but as we move along here then we will notice the giant 
wheat field with the potato field in the background which leads up to the windmill slash barn. Uh, I kind of put the two and two together. I did get a lot of inspiration off of this one off of Mythical Sausage and his windmill that he did. Um, I did change up quite a bit of stuff on it, but I do take a lot of inspiration from him because he is quite the builder. I'm not yet 100% sure what I want to do with the inside of the windmill, but I do know the barn part. I am going to put a bunch of farmer villagers in there and have a bunch of trades going on in there. I think the more trades that I have possible, the less that I'm going to have to do in the long term. Um, but for right now, it's just an empty building all around. I do have a big project on the horizon that I have kind of started, and if you do notice towards the end, you will kind of see a glimpse of it. But that is the tour of the village. Go ahead and leave a comment below on what you liked, what you didn't like, any suggestions on adding details or any builds that you want to see in this series. I do have some really big projects started. I do know I want to do an iron farm and a creeper farm and that kind of stuff. But for the time being, what I think I want to do is send you guys off in this episode with a shaders fly through at night because it does look kind of creepy and that's going to lead me into what I'm going to be starting in the next episode. But until next time, I want to say thank you and like always, woodchuck out.